ICAD number 24, Take Time, by Creative Katie, Karen Birchall. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner. So to start off, instead of using white gesso, I chose to use black gesso because what I'm going to place on here, I you will be seeing the black showing through. If you don't have black gesso, you can use black paint. It was an either or. This was just what was closest. So after getting it a quick dry, I dig out the next component for this iCAD. And these are labels, adhesive labels, that I used with my jelly print. And I will put the iCard and the link to that video so you can see how I did that. But I love the colors and of this one, and I really, really wanted to use it. And since using my stash was part of the reason why I'm doing the index card a day, I had to do it. So I'm just arranging it, making sure that I get have a border of black around the outside edge and leaving a little bit of black in between to peek through. This was the first time I was doing that and it seems easy and it looks like I pretty much nailed it right here. I don't know what was going through my head at that time, but I did end up turning off the camera and I'm not sure. I rearranged all of them and ended up cutting different ones. I wanted more different shapes, I think. And peeling off the backing of these proved a little bit more challenging than I wanted to do. So I didn't think that you needed to watch me fight to pull off the backing and arranging all these little bits. So you can make whatever size or shapes that you want. So I decided I'm going to make a flower using hearts. So that was a stamp that I borrowed from Yvonne, and I like that idea, but I wasn't sold on it. So there I'm going through my jelly prints to look for other prints and colors that I can use. To stamp hearts out onto. And then I decide I'm not using the jelly prints. So I get out the Dilutions paints and I have the pink and the purple and I'm just kind of mixing them up on a piece of paper, some of the odds and ends of the piece of paper and I'm going to create my own color. I found that the jelly prints would made it too busy. I wanted the background to still show. So stamping a very simple heart And I really like the way these solid colors, the pretty solid colors, really pop off this background. And I cut up, did the same thing with some yellow Dilutions paint. I just made it yellow and then later I kind of shaded it a little bit, a, a few other colors. There you just saw me taking a picture. I want to see if I like it. Sometimes that's a, a trick that I use to see and help me make decisions in setting up my cards and pages. So I have two flowers, a larger one and a smaller one, and now I'm using this Dilutions stamp set and I'm printing the leaves on this jelly print. This was something that I planned on using and didn't use, but it was in my stash. And I believe it was a braying brayered off sheet, brayering off sheet, which I find I use a lot. They, they tend to be the ones I really, really like. So I'm just fussy, cut, fussy cutting the leaves and petals, just making sure everything fits, setting up the composition of the jelly prints. And using Mod Podge Matte, just adhering all the elements. Things really do stick better if you put Mod Podge on, on the surface and then on the surface of what you're gluing down and then put it on top. It is necessary, you get a better adhesion if you do that. So a quick dry. 
I'm liking how this looks, giving it a trim. Little tapping of the fingers when you're not sure what. Using my Neo Color 2 is just a shade and add some color and, and interest to the center just so it's not just stark yellow. And I seem to take an exorbitant amount of time to do this. And uh, on camera, it doesn't even look like I've added any color. I think that's hilarious. So this is my Sabilo All Pencil in black, and I'm just outlining all the elements of this card. Adding more, activating it till I get the shading that I like. And when you compare, before I did the second one, you can see the difference that little step adds. So I'm using my Stabilo All Pencil in blue and I'm just adding a little bit of interest and color to the centers of the flowers. Yes, the Stabilo All Pencil comes in many different colors and I love the blue because it just really works so well with so many things. So I'm ripping the saying out. I like how the edges don't necessarily show so much. I like the roughness of that. It doesn't look as precise. I stamp this on deli paper. And if you put the adhe adhesive stuff, the gel medium or Mod Podge, on the back of the saying and on the surface, you often get it to fade away and be very, very clear. And I like the idea of showing the background through it. Just doing a little bit of doodling, which I never do. Then I decide to do dashes around the flowers, and I really like that little detail. I think it ties in the black with the black of the background that's peeking through the, the print. And there you have it. Thank you for watching.